Welcome to Waters World. I'm Jesse Waters. Obamagate. That's the subject of tonight's Waters Words. I'm proud of the fact that with two weeks to go, uh, we're probably the first administration in modern history that hasn't had a major scandal in the White House. <laughs> what a joke. The Obama people got caught this week, and it looks like it goes straight to the top. Let's start here. Remember these Obama officials who told the country Trump was a traitor? What a great case officer uh, Vladimir Putin is. He knows how to handle uh, an asset, and that's what he's doing with the president. Do you still believe the president could be a Russian asset? I think it's possible. President Putin's got a very high return on his investment. He's taken a series of steps that had Vladimir Putin dictated them, he couldn't have mirrored more effectively. These horrible people were lying on national television, and they knew they were lying. They just didn't think they'd get caught. Well, we caught them. When House Republicans put them under oath in 2017, every single one of them said they'd seen no evidence of collusion. So American Patriot Rick Grinnell, acting director of national intelligence, released the transcripts of these low lives admitting there was never collusion. You ready? James Clapper, quote, never saw any direct empirical evidence. Samantha Power, I am not in possession of anything. Susan Rice, I don't recall evidence to that effect. And Andrew McCabe on the Steele dossier, uh, we have not been able to prove the accuracy. So the Obama administration wiretapped, spied on, and investigated their political opponents, and they never had any evidence of collusion. They didn't have any then, and they don't have any now, because there was no collusion. It was a frame-up. Now, what they did was they went on TV and told everybody Trump was a traitor, though. Adam Schiff did, too. These people are evil, and they're sick. I hate them for what they did to this country. And I'll never forgive them. And I'll never forgive them for what they did to Michael Flynn, a three-star general who spent 30 years protecting America. The Department of Justice finally dropped the case against him. Here's AG Bill Barr. What should Americans take away from your actions in the Flynn case today? I want to make sure uh, that we restore confidence in the system. There's only one standard of justice. When history looks back on this decision, how do you think it will be written? Well, history is written by the winner, so it largely depends on, on <laughs> uh, who's writing the history. You know, that's funny, but it's also true. And that's why this November is so important. These disgraceful people will rewrite history if they get the chance. Now, the GOJ said there was no basis for James Comey to send an FBI agent to interview Flynn. The DOJ said the interview was unjustified and had nothing to do with a legitimate investigation. The, the DOJ said Flynn's phone call with the Russian ambassador was perfectly legal and totally appropriate. The DOJ said Flynn did not violate the stupid Logan Act and that he never committed perjury anyway. Remember, we finally saw documents that showed FBI agents plotting to entrap Flynn, floating their goal to get him to lie, lock him up, or get him fired. The reason the Obama administration needed Flynn gone was because he was about to uncover the scandal that the Trump team had been illegally spied on and smeared. They needed Flynn gone because their coup needed to continue. And the second Flynn was confirmed as national security advisor, he'd be able to see everything that they'd been doing. Now, the president fumed over this injustice earlier. I hope a lot of people are going to pay a big price because they're dishonest, crooked people. They're scum. And I say it a lot. They're scum. They're human scum. The Obama administration, Justice Department was a disgrace. And they got caught. They got caught. Very dishonest people. But much more than dishonest. It's treason. It's treason. Strong words. And they're backed by facts. New documents tell us everything. They'd opened up an investigation on Flynn just because he was on the Trump campaign and he traveled to Russia once. The Steele dossier was a Hillary hit job and it was all just Russian disinformation and they knew it and they used it anyway to get a warrant. The FBI had doctored evidence to listen to Carter Page's phone calls. The Papadopoulos conversation at the bar, CIA set up. The Manafort black book was a fake tip from Clinton's Ukrainian contacts. 
the spies, the wiretaps. Flynn was about to find out all. So Obama's team illegally leaked Flynn's classified phone call to create a Russian cloud around him and then sneak FBI agents into the White House to take him out. Barack Obama knew what was going on. New transcripts show Obama was aware of the intimate details of Flynn's call, a call that wasn't criminal at all. This raised eyebrows because Obama hated Flynn, fired him in 2014, and told Trump not to hire him. It makes sense now, doesn't it? As we told you last week, Flynn clashed with Obama's CIA. He didn't like how political they were and believed they were covering up the truth about al-Qaeda. On January 5th, 2017, during the transition, Obama DOJ official Sally Yates attended an Oval Office meeting with Comey, Biden, Brennan, Rice, and Clapper, according to these documents. They were discussing Russian election interference, which they'd obviously use as an excuse for Hillary losing. And after the briefing, Obama asked Yates and Comey to stay behind and said, he had learned of the information about Flynn and his conversation with the Russian ambassador. Obama was seeking information on whether the White House should be treating Flynn any differently, given the information. Yates recalled James Comey mentioning the Logan Act in front of the president, which ended up being the BS excuse for unleashing the sting. Another memo says Biden stayed behind, too and witnessed the conversation. Now, remember the Strzok page text that came out? Remember this one? The White House is running this. POTUS wants to know everything we're doing. Naturally, because counterintelligence investigations are done solely for the commander in chief. It all connects now, doesn't it? A source is telling Waters World that Attorney General Bill Barr was just given a trove of smoking gun documents that could point directly at former President Barack Obama, revealing his powerful connection to Spygate and the Russia hoax. Yesterday, President Trump hinted, this is far from over. Here's the tweet. Yesterday was a big day for justice in the USA. Congratulations to General Flynn and many others. I do believe there is much more to come. Dirty cops and crooked politicians do not go well together. We'll have to wait and see how this all unfolds. Reports are that Adam Schiff is, quote, panicking. John Durham is working around the clock, putting together a winnable case in court. But if this goes all the way to the top, like it appears it does, Bill Barr is going to have to appoint a special prosecutor with a wider scope to get to the bottom or should I say, the top of Obamagate.